Jesus. Get a mission, get a mission. It's time for the Bible. Get a mission, get a mission. So come on close. Oh yeah. Here we go. It's Kidder Mission time. <laughs> what most of you don't get to see, especially those of you at home, is Pastor Cooper dancing all out to Kidder Mission theme song every week. So I hope that at least those of you at home, because I know none of you here, all you Scrooge people here, were dancing like Pastor Cooper. But I, I do hope that you bust out some moves. Hey, my name is Elsa. I am one of the Faith Kids directors here at Cheney Faith Center. And this is the part in our service where uh, we dedicate some time just to speak specifically to our kids. There's some kids here in the auditorium and especially you kiddos at home. So I want to unpack a little bit, quite literally, I did bring a little bit, but also the scripture that we're going to talk about today from 1 Corinthians chapter 8 for our kiddos. And I'm going to read this. I want to read two verses, and they are also in your journals. We are already in week three, so crazy time is going by. But they are in your journals in week three on day number two. And so if you want, you can read along there. But I want to talk about verse number one first, and then number nine, which is our memory verse. And number one, ver chapter eight, verse one, this is the word of the Lord. It says, now concerning food offered to idols, we know that all of us possess knowledge. This knowledge puffs up, but love builds up. And I want to talk to you about that today, because then we get to verse 9, where it says, but take care that this right of yours, this knowledge of yours, does not somehow become a stumbling block for the weak, or does not cause someone weaker than you to fall into sin. I brought my friend. This is my friend, Jessie. She doesn't know how to wave yet. She's just a little, little doll. But uh, this is my friend, Jessie, and I care about Jessie, and I want her to walk with Jesus. I want her to know Jesus, and I want her to be strong in her walk with Jesus. I don't want her to be tripping and stumbling and getting hurt. I don't want her to be falling, and then, yeah, that would hurt, wouldn't it? I know. I'm sorry. Um, and she would get, like, maybe a bloody nose if she fell too hard. Or she might even get a concussion. She might have to go to the hospital. It would be really devastating physically if she fell. And then if she fell in her spiritual walk, man, there would be so many broken pieces to have to pick up of you. So I don't want that for you, Jesse. And I don't want that for any of my friends that I know who I want to walk with Jesus. You're probably like, what does that have to do with anything? But because of that, oh, this is, I want to show us a, a quick visual about this, and this is what I want to show us. We all have knowledge, all of us. We have knowledge. Our friends have knowledge, and we have knowledge, and we all have different knowledge. Before I had babies, I was an engineer, and I have a lot of engineering knowledge, but some of you do not have that knowledge, so I could share it with you, and I could take it, and I could share it with you. takes a lot of work to blow up this balloon. But this is my knowledge. And I could share it with you. And you... Uh-oh. See this knowledge? It's puffed up. It puffed up this balloon. And I could share this knowledge with you. And you and my friend Jesse could sit on this knowledge. We could have this knowledge. And it could be for us to stand on. But I also... I have love. And that comes from Jesus. And this is my love. Also, for my friends, like Jesse, to sit on. And the thing about this love, it's solid. It's that way, truth, and life that we just talked about. It's Jesus. And the knowledge I have, that comes from the Lord, but it isn't the Lord. 
And the thing about our knowledge is that if we are only sharing our knowledge with our friends, it can cause our friends, my friend like Jesse, to fall. And she will get big spiritual owies. And in this illustration, probably a hurt tailbone. Some big physical owies. But if I share my love with Jesse, she's not falling because Jesus is not going to fall. Right? Right, friends? So I want to be sure that my friend Jesse, <laughs> I'm actually a little nervous she might fall, does not fall. And I want to share with her my love. So even if I have knowledge, whether it's engineering knowledge or knowledge of something that my friend doesn't have, if it is knowledge that does not build up, they can fall and get really, really hurt, spiritually or physically. So that is what our memory verse is about, to be careful how we use our rights, how we use our knowledge, so that we don't cause someone weaker, like my friend Jessie, she's pretty weak, to fall. And how we are going to remember that this week is we have a little block. Yeah, that was, that was intentional. We have a block. And so if you color this, kids, you can cut it out and fold it up into a little block. And that last piece is always the trickiest part of making a cube out of paper. But tape it together just like I taped my, aggressively taped my cube here. And as you use your block, you can remember and you can say your verse to be sure you don't cause someone, oh, no, that's not, that's not the first one, to, oh my gosh, to be careful how you use your rights. Be sure you don't cause someone weaker than you to fall into sin. 1 Corinthians 8, 9. And so as you build your block, remember that you are building one another up in love and you are not causing them, using your knowledge and your rights, to fall.